All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep life music. Make sure y'all following us on social media on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. So, yeah, y'all, I was wondering, man. I was sitting back this whole time wondering for months now. For No, I should say for over a year now, probably. I was wondering why. Fifth was going so hard at Diddy. You know, a lot of people have been saying a lot of different things about Fifth and voicing displeasure about him coming out publicly, going in on Puff. A lot of people thought it was it was foul what he was doing. Um, you know what I'm saying? And then he should have he should have just, you know, his position that people think he shouldn't have said nothing, he should just fell back, been quiet about the whole situation. People a lot of people think he's egging the situation on. And now to come to find out that the mother of his son has been named uh, in this lawsuit as an alleged worker uh, for P. Diddy, man. And we saw the pictures of her and Puff in the past uh, that they posted online. Seems like they had vacation together. Man, it just goes to show you, man, you can't trust no women, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I know women going to say you can't trust no man, but it's hard to trust a lot of these. You got to find the right woman, man. You know, there's good women out here, man, but you got to find the right woman, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the truth, man. The same thing with the ladies. Ladies got to find the right man. And uh, to the brother who says she's fine, a lot of them fine. But how, how are they internally? How is the person inside of their heart? Are they beautiful in their heart? Uh, do they have a beautiful soul? Are they a beautiful person inside their heart? You understand? So 50 Cent don't went off, man, uh, since seeing the report that she was named along with the other chick, Young Miami, uh, was both named in this lawsuit and given specifics as far as how money was wired and who was wiring money. Man, this thing get deeper than the Carter, man. This thing get deeper than the Carter. And now I'm saying, okay, this is why 50 Cent been going off on Diddy all this time. 50 ain't never say nothing in the past. I don't know if he knew that this was going on to this extent, allegedly. But he had been going. I was wondering. I'm like, I'm, I was just thinking the whole time, like, yo, this is more deeper than just rap. Because I ain't never really seen them have no rap beef. But then I remember that they showed that picture, TMZ, a while back. They showed that picture of Diddy with this woman on vacation and this is the mother of 50's kid now i don't know if this is how diddy you know got his get back because fifth been jabbing at 50 for uh, uh diddy for years so i don't know if this is diddy alleged get back but uh, you know fifth online fifth was going crazy fifth just found out because he the way he reacted online he just found this out he didn't know anything about that extent he knew that the chick was hanging around puff because he had said something before when they put that picture out of her and puff on vacation uh but now you understand what i'm saying this a man unreal situation bro because if y'all seen fifth timeline when fifth found this out yesterday like everybody else did and the 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 um uh, the details that was put in that report, man, Fifth went in. Fifth went in online. I mean, he went in. And so, you know, me personally, I probably wouldn't have said nothing at all about the whole situation, being a position that Fifth is in, you know what I'm saying? Being the fact that, you know, he is, you know, what they supposed to say is gangster personified, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I see a lot of people criticize Fifth online for, coming out saying all this stuff and even just putting his name and face out here on a situation. I've seen a lot of people saying they think he should be quiet and not said nothing. I'm talking about even before he found out about this yesterday. Um, 
you know, a lot of people saying that Fifth was being petty. He always be petty and stuff like that. People were saying that. You know what I'm saying? They'll never say the fifth, but they 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 were saying it online, you know what I mean? And you know, some people secretly was thinking that too. You you could tell some people secretly think that, but they don't want to say it. Uh because <clears throat> they know fifth is real aggressive, you know what I mean? And so uh it all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. I think that fifth knew because the whole world knew, because they put out the picture. D TMZ Ben put out the picture oh, a long time ago, if I'm not mistaken, of Diddy with fifth's baby mom after she had the kid with fifth you know what i mean and so you know um this is what happens sometimes between moguls when you get into it it's always over a chick bro you know what i mean like you see the situation right now going on what you call it? it's over a chick you know what i mean <clears throat> and so again and who's winning in the end the chicks because you know, I mean, look, at the end of the day, man, I look at this situation, bro, and like I said, man, this thing rolled deep, man. So now you got a dude that was supposed to be rolling with Fifth, rolling, I mean, rolling with Diddy, rolling over on Diddy. And I'm talking about that producer. That producer <clears throat> named a lot of names in his lawsuit, gave a lot of specifics in his lawsuit. Surely he's going to be talking to them people. And then if you heard him talk, I'm going to tell y'all something, right? This seemed to all have been over money. And what I'm saying, what I, why I say that is because when I heard the producer, Lil Rod, talking, he said he was talking about how he allegedly was being mistreated, not paid for funds, prop, uh, not paid for services properly, and all of this other stuff, and how he was getting pennies on the dollar. All of these videos are online now of things he, he said leading up to his lawsuit so it seems like man if in a way puff would have just dropped the bag and paid to do what he thought he was worth or what he thought he should have been getting you know dude 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 made it seem like puffy was just jerking him around not paying him his bread you having him do all this work and then not and trying to you know take the credits from him and all this other that's how he was talking you know what i'm saying that's how he, that's how the producer was talking so now once you get a situation now where you got everybody turning, I mean, him turning against you, now all of those things that the dude that was your right-hand man that was close to you, now he's turned turned on you and tried to reveal a lot of these things to the public and to the FBI and stuff like that. Because you know the FBI talking with him. And so this thing is going to get real deep in my opinion, bro. I think a lot of people, I, everybody's just talking about Diddy, man. You know what I mean? Everybody's talking about Diddy. Bro, nobody's talking about all the other people who are going to be linked into this thing, bro. That's the part nobody's talking about. Like, bro, let me tell you something. For these people to put this stuff in lawsuits, this is criminal activity they put in lawsuits. So any of the people that they name in those lawsuits, the, the FBI may start invest. They may be investigating all these people. Listen, the feds do not come for you to play games. They're not coming for you. Oh, we joking. We let no. You have to have probable cause to get those. Uh, you have to have probable cause to have those warrants to go search this dude's house. You have to. Diddy was surprised, and I'm gonna tell y'all how I know he was surprised that they. And this is the craziest part. He didn't know they was coming. You've seen all of these signs. Of all these people coming out on you, and you still didn't know they was coming. And I didn't know they knew they were. He didn't. He didn't know they was coming because you was getting ready to get on a plane with the with the uh, with the boy who used to play at Syracuse, and they found they found the 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 substances in that boy's bag. How you getting ready to get on a plane with that boy on a private jet? He got substances in his bag. You get ready to get on there with him. He takes the hit. But now what that does is that they defect that this is what, what people gotta understand. People think that, oh, well, Diddy had already escaped. No, 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 no. Diddy never knew they was coming. You think if Diddy knew they was coming, that boy would have anything on him being around him like that? Hell no. Diddy, Diddy literally didn't know he and and listen, here's the part. He should have been prepared. Artists, this for all the artists out there. Whenever somebody come out with a lawsuit, accusations, anything. If you got any kind of dirt on you, you better get it the hell up off of you instantly. 
because anything that being said or done on the public in the public eye can be used against you in investigations and all of this stuff. There's no reason why Puff should have been caught off guard with this, bro. None. They got the pictures and the video of this dude at the airport with the boy on TMZ. They got the boy on the police vest cam getting locked up. He's right there with Puff. They took him and left Puff. Make it make sense. You know why they did that? They're going to get that boy, go try to get that boy to roll on everybody. They're going to try and get that boy to roll on everybody. Y'all don't see what's going on now? And obviously, Puff was light or lenient with the people that was around him, close to him. They knew way too much. He didn't have that much loyalty close to him because the dude, the producer, you know, that loyalty go away if people feel like that money ain't right. See, I'm going to tell you something. Like, it's just, like when the wolves ain't eating around you, they loyal to you when they eating. But if they feel like they ain't eating right, bro, it could turn ugly real quick. Because now a lot of these cats know a lot of the things you got going on. This dude's out here breaking down specifics. So, again, let me get back to what I was saying. People don't understand. People think the feds didn't know what they was doing. Man, are you out your mind? The feds knew exactly where Puff was. They didn't think Puff was in the house. They knew exactly. They were following Puff. That's how they knew to catch him at the airport. How y'all think the feds do to catch Puff at the airport and run that boy down at the airport like they did? The feds been watching them. They've been watching. Y'all think the feds going to have that type of freaking operation? Go in the way they was going in and not have been watching this dude? They're getting ready to come with probably one of the biggest. And I, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I smell a Rico. I smell a Rico. I'm going to be honest. I smell a Rico. Ain't nothing I say going to affect the case because they already been on this shit. I smell a Rico coming. And when I say a Rico, I smell a whole lot of people that's going down involved in this shit, man. Because it seemed like old boy naming names. It seemed like he got receipts. It seemed like he's showing them. Read the lawsuit. Did y'all read the lawsuit? In the lawsuit, the dude is putting in the lawsuit how people allegedly were paid. He's putting in full names, government names. He's putting in how the whole thing was operating. This like some Nino Brown, New Jack City shit. In real life. In real life. So you tell me how the feds ran down on Diddy with that boy right there. And they getting ready to get on the plane. That's, that's a federal offense. You get ready to get on a private jet. And he get caught with that stuff in his bag. And Puff was right there with him. But they let, think about this, they let Puff go. Think about that shit that happened in the wire. That wasn't even a Fed investigation in the wire. But remember when they first came and got Avon Barksdale. And what did they do? What you call it, thought he was getting locked up too, Stringer. Remember when Stringer put his hands behind his back? Y'all gonna say, Ticket, that was a TV show. Nigga, that shit was based off reality. Remember when String put his hands behind his back? And they said, and, and McNulty told Stringer Bell, he was like, nah, you good. And Stringer and Avon looked at each other like, what? Boy, them motherfuckers smart. Excuse my language. The, the feds is smart. Now, listen, they was at that time in the in the move in that time in the in the series, their relationship was so tight, Avon knew Stringer wasn't snitching on him at that time. Right? But think about this. When the feds pulled up and popped Diddy at that airport with that boy, right? At that at the private jet, right? When they popped up and pu pu pulled him, look what the feds did. The feds took the boy and left Diddy. What you think that boy thinking? That boy thinking, hold on, they got me, but they, hold on. What you think Diddy thinking? Diddy like, damn, they got old boy, but they ain't do nothing to me. Like, and then you seen a video of him pacing around, thinking, pacing around, pacing around. They was following that dude, bro. How you think they knew he was at that, at, right about to get on the private? They got him before he got on the private jet. How y'all think he knew that? How y'all y'all think the fans are just stupid? They ain't watching all this stuff, bro. They probably had all kind of surveillance going on. All kind of stuff that we don't even know about that you're going to find out about in court. 
But you got fifth. And again, the feds had to know what Diddy was at to get him at the airport. They ran up on him as they was getting ready to get up on the private jet. They already was following them. The feds just pop out of nowhere. Poof. And people on here saying, oh, the feds ain't no... Are y'all out of y'all mind? The feds is organized, disciplined, and they militant. Straight up. They got a whole case probably lined up. And I'm telling y'all, this investigation didn't start when these uh, allegations came out. This probably been years of investigating. And you're going to find out if they go to court. When they lay it out there in court, they're going to show you years that we had years of surveillance and investigation. All kind of witnesses coming out. There. And now when it's time to see who gangster and who not, when the feds start popping other dudes and people start getting popped, rolled up on, that y'all don't even know, dudes getting questioned that, that we don't even know, getting questioned right now. When they come to you and say, look, we got you on this, this, and this. Now, fed time. We got you on this. They're going to talk to everybody. All of the ladies that's been named in this, all of the witnesses, they're going to talk to all of these because these are serious. These are criminal allegations being put down. They're going to talk to all these people, bro. This right here should, ought to teach everybody a lesson. If you moving wrong, change how you moving. Because if they, if they come into do puff like this, bro, I'm letting y'all know right now, bro. They let him walk. Not because they don't have nothing on this man. They let that man walk. Because what they're going to do is the same thing they did in The Wire. Remember, they came and got Avon and left Stringer Bell. Right? Why? Because String being out, Avon being in, String is going to lead us to more maybe. So they're thinking, you know, okay, look, we're going to snatch up all these people around Puff. We're going to leave Puff out to make them think that Puff going to roll. He's going to be all right. We coming for y'all. You, they, Them people get you in that room. They get you talking. Only the strong survive in that, in that fair room. So now you got people in there like, damn, dog. Like, Puff really, like, he really out. People really out here talking about, they ain't got nothing on Puff. Have you lost your damn mind? You think the feds are stupid and they ain't got a game plan? The feds got a whole different game plan, and they finna hit y'all with a whole kazoo of stuff that y'all ain't seen when this thing go to trial. And I'm telling y'all, I smell a full-fledged Rico because that that boy and that lawsuit is naming names. And it don't matter what nobody on YouTube say, it ain't gonna change it because the feds already got it on paperwork. Once you once that becomes a criminal let me let me give y'all an example, right? When OJ went through his trial. He went through the criminal first, civil second, right? This situation with Diddy, he's going through civil first as far as settling lawsuits, people coming up with a lawsuit. He may have to deal with the criminal afterwards because people are uh, accusing him of criminal activity. And they're putting all these other people's names in. So y'all thinking it's just Diddy. Look at all these people that's, that's in his names. Young young Miami going to have to get up there and defend herself. Her name is in this stuff. This woman right here on the screen, she's going to have to get up there and defend her name. Her name is in this stuff. All these people are being accused of illegal activity. Y'all just think the feds running around here looking like damn fools and don't know what the hell going on. Man, the feds got this whole thing lined up. Trust me. You walk into a room, that room gonna look like that same room look like with uh on the wire when they had all that shit up there on the big on the big board. They got it all lined up. Bing, 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 bing. Point blank, period. They got it all lined up. Names, everything. We rolling interviewing this one, this one, this one, this one. And y'all know how they can do. Once they get you in that room and that pressure get on you, now we're gonna find out. Who is who? Because now it's going to tell who is snitching and who ain't. Y'all seen all these other cases out here with all these other dudes that's fighting uh, uh, legals in court. 
Look at all these other rappers that's in court right now. Cats don't turn on them, flipped on them, and all kind of stuff. Y'all see it. You think, cat, bro, I'm telling y'all right now, some of these, you think some of these girls is built to go to prison for 10 to 15 years? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. They're going to be calling everybody up that was around this dude. Anybody that was named is going to get called. I guarantee you this. Now, the question is, are they going to flip and say something? That's the question. And the question is, is how much? It ain't what the feds know. It's how much do they know. And they know enough to have probable cause to go to the U.S. Let me tell you something. To get a warrant to go in there and seize. They cannot come in your house and seize without having probable warrant call. And, and I'm telling y'all this. Look at the paperwork. Anytime they come hit you like that and use all the taxpayers' money, they coming for blood. This ain't no penny ante ish So when people get named now, and I was sitting there wondering, I, I swear, y'all, I was sitting up here like, I was thinking to myself like, yo, why Fifth keep doing, going in on Puff like this? For, for over a year, Fifth been going in on Puff. Fifth ain't know this. He showed you his handy. I think Fifth just thought, me personally, I think he just thought Diddy had, was messing with his chick, his 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 baby moms, because the the photo already came out with Diddy with the baby moms. It's all over. It's been all over line. T, I think TMZ reported that like almost a year ago. So I, I was thinking that's the reason why Fifth ain't rock with Puff. You know, you know how it is when you a big dog. Like, okay, you a mess. I'm gonna take your chick, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Fifth just found out about this yesterday. Because if you go look at Fifth online. Fifth posted the article on, online and was like, oh, this how you want to get down, chick? You want to, you know what I'm saying? So I think that hit Fifth yesterday. Like, dog, this shit deeper than what, you know what I'm saying? And in a way, i am be honest with y'all, in a way, I don't know if Fifth is on child, if Fifth on child support or not. I don't know his whole, I don't know his situation. But in a way, if he is on child support, this might, this might help Fifth a lot. If 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 she goes down, because now Fifth gonna say, "Hey, unfit." But I don't know his situation. I don't know if he's on child support. I don't know if they, you know, doing mute. I can't speak on that situation. But I'm gonna tell y'all one thing though. Everybody talking about, oh, the police didn't know Diddy was running. Man, the feds had their eye on Puff the whole time. How they know where he was at to go run up on him with that boy? You think the feds wasn't watching? The feds probably watched the whole play. Waited till they got to the airport, lined them up, boop, sweep, 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 sweep. You guys need to go watch online how the feds operate. Watch on YouTube. It shows you in other cases how the feds build cases and operate, bro. The feds don't play. It don't matter what none of us say, bro. Them dudes been working on this case for a while now. While we all didn't know none of this stuff. Fed's been working on this stuff for a minute, bro. So if you was at any of those parts, that's why y'all hearing. You heard Joe Button say yesterday. Joe Button was like, yeah, you know, I, I ain't do nothing. I, I left the parties. You know, I said, what's up? And I left, you know, beautiful house. <laughs> Jump off Joe Button. <laughs> that, hey, hey, that what he said. He was like, hey, I left. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Dudes is copping, please, already. Because they know. They know what's fitting to come down. Y'all think that and you got dudes that come out that the feds don't know what they do. Come on, man. Cut this BS out. The feds, you don't know what the feds doing. The feds smarter than all what y'all think. Everything you think in your mind that you think you smarter than the feds, bro, it's just like your kids when you was growing up. It's like if you got kids, your kids think they smarter than you. Like, dog, I don't did everything you did. There ain't nothing you can lie to me about. <laughs> I don't did all that. All that stuff you lying about. I don't did all that. You can sit in my, you can sit right here and lie to my face. I did that already, dog. But your kids still think they smarter than you. You know what I'm saying? So they'll do stuff and think you're stupid as parents. What do these people feel like that they smarter than the feds? The feds know all of this shit. The feds got people who on the ground. They are they are, they are on this shit, bro. They got all kind of new surveillance stuff. So if you think they don't know, shit, man. Don't y'all know that people out here dropping drones and all kind of stuff 
over top of people's cribs and stuff like that, bro. You, don't y'all know the technology they got that's out here? Huh? Don't y'all know that? I don't really think y'all know. I don't really think y'all know. So when we talk about this type of stuff, you understand what I'm saying? When we talk about this type of stuff, y'all, I'm just keeping it real with y'all, man. I'm keeping it real with y'all, man. You know? I just think people need to understand this type of stuff, man. You know what I mean? The Fed's been on this, bro. Y'all think Diddy and them, y'all think, uh, excuse me, the Fed's going to run up on P. Diddy without probable cause. That's what y'all think. Then this was going to happen. I'm going to tell y'all exactly what's going to happen. They're going to go to court. I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen. They're going to go to court, y'all. And when they get to court, after they finish building up the entire case, they're going to come with multiple charges. This is what I think is going to happen. I'm telling y'all what I think is going to happen. I think they're going to come with multiple charges. I'm talking about RICO charges. And I think they're going to line up a whole, I think they're going to come swoop up a whole bunch of people at the same time. I think that that right there, what you just saw with Puff, was part one. I think part two, three, four, they're going to come swoop everybody involved. That's what I think. And I think they're going to hand out big charges one by one. And then what they're going to do is to try to roll people into other people to see if they can get the guy at the top, whoever that may be. That's what I believe is going to happen. And I think when you get to court, here's the part that's going to hurt a lot of people the worst. It's going to be some people that snitch that y'all never thought was going to talk about anything just based off the fact that you grew up liking this person or you listen to this person and when you are older you got a family uh you got your life in front of you and stuff like that man people ain't trying to go to prison and do no 15 20 years or 25 years when they can get off i want y'all to think about that you know what i'm saying you know the pressure comes the pressure comes the pressure comes, and that's the thing. What's going to happen when that pressure hit? Not everybody built for that, bro. Only a few only a few cats is really built for that type of pressure, bro. You know? And so what's going to happen if if the feds, because they already know all this. All this stuff that's in the lawsuit, trust me, they don't talk to old boy. All of this stuff. Old boy went online talking about he in fear of his life. That right, that right there, that's probably going to get him in protective custody down the line. Straight up. It's gonna be a Rico, bro. If you was, if you were anywhere around this, bro, I'm telling y'all right now. Do not think that they ain't looking at you just because you ain't heard nothing, just because you've been quiet. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I think they're trying to make an example. And from fifth reaction yesterday, bro. Fifth is a multi-millionaire. Fifth could have had anybody, a private investigator, anybody following to find out what's going on with this chick. Fifth's reaction to this yesterday let me know he knew nothing about these allegations right here. He was completely surprised. And that's how the feds going to hit you. When the feds hit you, you're going to be completely surprised. And then you're going to see who rolled with you and who ain't rolling with you when it all go down? Now, think about this. How many people y'all seen rocking with Diddy over the years? A lot. How many people y'all see right now speaking up for Diddy that was rocking with him? How, I'm going to say it again. Everybody's listening to this video right now. How many people that you saw over the span of the last 25 years rocking with Puff that's out here standing 10 toes with Puff right now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Now, what you think going to happen if the feds got anything on any of those people? What you think going to happen? They come hit you with a, a, a 10 to 15 year threat. 
Fed time. Shit, man, bro. I'm telling y'all this, bro. I'm telling y'all this. Ladies gonna start singing like the god on. I'm telling y'all. And so here's the difference. Some of these ladies, they don't got the, the chicks that you're hearing their names. They are in the celebrity eye. They don't have the type of money to get the legal that you would need in this type of situation. So many people going to sing, man. I'm telling y'all this, bro. Y'all finna see. This shit finna get ugly, bro. This shit finna get ugly, bro. You know? And so, again, it's just a lesson, man. It's just, you know, um, first of all, you know, you just, you, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? It's only a few, it's only a few solid cats that's going to stand 10 toes with you through anything. You know what I mean? People will be around you when you winning. As soon as you get ready to take an L, uh, people will turn on you and help try to, try to beat you up, try to take you down. You know what I mean? It shows y'all how fake the industry is, you know? That's why I always respected cats that went independent routes at some point in time because it show you how fake the industry is. You hear a lot of people say, like, yo, the industry fake, man. You know what I'm saying? The industry cast is fake. Bro, That that's real, bro, because that's real because um, you know what I mean? That's real because uh, they say any industry cast is fake and that's real because you see it once it go once it going down. You literally see it once it's going down. You literally see it. You know what I'm saying? You literally see it. Once it goes down, you're gonna see. Um, and that's just my thoughts on it, man. I, I just feel like uh, somebody just called me right now too while I'm doing this. Hey, y'all, y'all always trying to call a brother. Um. While I'm, while I'm while I'm I'm cooking, man. You know, since somebody called me right now, just sent me a message and said everything you're saying is true. I know I'm saying it's true. I already know. I already know it's gonna be a whole lot of snitching in this. Ain't nothing nobody on YouTube can do about it. There's nothing nobody on YouTube saying can 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 dumb down the situation or big up the situation, bro. The feds already been involved. <laughs> you can tell, bro. When the feds come for you, they ain't just build up a case yesterday. They've been building up a case for a while. We just didn't know it. We find out about it right now, which is why y'all see a frenzy online. And I'm going to tell you something. Everybody online acting like they know what's going on. Man, the hell, man. Don't None of us really know what's going on. We know what the news is telling us. We're going to find out what's going on when, when this shit hit the fan. When they come with them charges, we're going to find out what's, come, what's going on. They not finna go tear your house down and do all this other stuff, run up on you, use all the taxpayers money and stuff like that if they ain't got a wiffle ball back cut it out what you think you think they ain't got nothing in the feds involved i tell you like old boy said on the wire she... you know what i'm saying y'all lost your mind now the lady in the thumbnail that's the lady who was named in the um who was alleged to be one of the workers for diddy that's the mother of, of 50 Cent's son. You know what I'm saying? 50. 50 not happy about that, man. <laughs> Fifth went off yesterday online, bro. <laughs> Fifth, you could tell he ain't know. You could tell Fifth ain't know about that, bro. He did not know about that one, bro. Because he posted like two or three times on this yesterday. I think Fifth just thought, like I said, I think Fifth just thought that, that Diddy had, you know what I'm saying, had went behind him and messed with the shorty. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Fifth knew all this. But again, old boy, all y'all got to do is peep what happened. The producer said, and I heard him, he said on his Instagram, he said, yo, I haven't been properly compensated. He said that he had been doing work and that he had been, been getting pennies. He hadn't been getting paid what he's supposed to get paid, allegedly. This is the allegation he was making against, or he made against Diddy. He said he did work. He said he did work on the last album Diddy just put out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the Off the Grid album. He said he was doing work on that. And he has the end. He left the videos up on his Instagram. 
with Puff. He left the video. He still got them videos up. You know, he didn't even take that shit down. He he left that up, like proving he was there the whole time. So now this dude again, you got to go read the lawsuit. A lot of y'all don't write read this stuff. So the lawsuit is like seventy something pages long, and I I only read. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I only read like twenty pages. I only read like twenty pages, and this dude is giving specifics, bro. It's like he trying to get dag on. Man, bro. And I knew he ain't had no bread like that because he had, he made it go fund me. He made it go fund me begging people to help him afford a lawyer. So I don't think, I'll be honest with you, I don't think Puff thought he could hurt him because he ain't had no bread. But in this era, now of social media, and you ain't got no bread and no backing. All you got to do is go to, go to, go, go online. <laughs> and that's what he did. He, he literally went online, started a go fund me. Uh, I think his GoFundMe was like 30, 40,000, something, 50,000, something like that. 30 or 40,000 he was asking for. 50 for a lawyer. He did a GoFundMe to ask the people to help him get a lawyer. And um, then he filed a lawsuit. You know? But I told you guys this, man. Or even with the Cassie situation, man. Cassie's lawyer said she's willing to cooperate, bro. This is it, man. I don't care what nobody say. Cassie's lawyer, I want y'all to listen to what I just said. Oh, I just thought about this again right now. Cassie's lawyer, right? Cassie, Cassie, who's with it, uh, Diddy every day. Her lawyer said they, she's willing to cooperate with the feds. B-E-T rap city. It's a rap. The lawyer said they're willing to cooperate with the feds investigation. You know what that means? She's probably going to be willing to give testimony on, on, on things she's alleged she's seen. And here's where the situation, in my opinion, went left for Puff. Somebody accused me of something I ain't do. <clears throat> I ain't paying you, bro. I don't get down who you is. You accused me of something I didn't do. I'm not paying you, bro. And then I'm suing you. For defamation of character, for accusing me of something I didn't do. P. Diddy settled with her in less than 24 hours. <clears throat> and then Diddy didn't, I don't know if Diddy knew that because this would be under the bounds of a criminal, I don't think he knew that she could still talk with the authorities. I, I don't know if he just thought that, because some people don't know the law. Just because you sue somebody, and then after you sue them, if you get a settlement or you win the you win the case that you sign an NDA or non-disclosure, that's that you don't go do interviews or talk about the settlement or talk about details of the case beyond that point. That don't mean that does not absolve you from criminal. When when the criminal allegations come in, it's all on deck. See, I don't think I think if Diddy knew that and all this was gonna come down, I don't think he ever would have paid her. I think I don't think he ever would have paid. I think he just took the risk because either way it was gonna go down the same way. Either way it's gonna go down the same way. You know what I mean? And so yeah, man, Cassie, man, she's gonna be big in this, man. I think they gonna um they, I think they've already, you know, like I said, her lawyer already said this a while back. They they're 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 gonna co cooperate with the feds. With that being said, that they're gonna cooperate with the feds. You got dudes on YouTube doing open interviews, making numerous allegations. If you're going to go on YouTube and you was with Puff every day and you making allegations, what the hell you think they're going to do in a court of law? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. So, and now here's the thing. Can, can they line everything up? I'm not just telling, so don't think what I'm saying on YouTube, the feds don't already know. They already know all this stuff. All that stuff, them boys putting that putting that paperwork and casting them putting that paperwork, they fitting to tell the whole, I wouldn't, listen, I wouldn't put it past that chick, Cassie, to gave them the whole layout of Puff Mansions. How long was she with Puff? Like four or five years? And fellas, this is why you watch the ladies that you be around. And then vice versa. Because if the shit go left, man, I'm telling y'all this, bro. Y'all know how I get down. She may have gave them the whole layout. I don't even tell. Let me tell y'all something. 
if I got any kind of secret doors or secrets, anything in my crib, I don't even tell my girl. Uh-uh. Nope. So somebody run up on you, you don't know, you really don't know nothing. But see, if Cassie know the whole layout, if she goes to them and says, and she's already said this in her own lawsuit, so that I'm not saying that she ain't already said in the public. She's already said that she did certain things. Imagine if she implicates other women and other people in her testimony. And then along with those implications, imagine if she also has given forth information on alleged payments, how things were done. That's what Lil Rod did in his, that's what he did in his, um, in his lawsuit, this read the lawsuit, y'all. In the lawsuit, the dude lined out how money was transferred, who transferred the money, who did this. Bro, y'all don't think the feds gonna go and look at the bank statements? And then you know what they're gonna do? Probably right now they're doing calling people up. This that's names is linked to this from this dude, lining their statements up to see if their bank statements match up with this dude has been saying. Rico, I smell a Rico. So anybody saying that they ain't got nothing on Puff, man, y'all don't know nothing about the law. Them people ain't running in no P. Diddy homes without the big one. They're not doing that. They're not swinging on that and missing. I think they were just, me personally, I think they rolling all these other people that's around up. Specifically the alleged woman involved. And I think they lining them up to see. You understand what I'm saying? What it is. I think they line, lining them up to see what their statements are, if they're willing to roll, or if they're going to be a part of the case. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I go. You know, feds get you in there, they're probably going to ask you, hey, you want to be a part of this case? Or you want to be a witness in this case? <laughs> Straight up. You go look it up. So, uh, again, Cassie, you understand what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all what it is. What's going on with Cassie? I'm telling y'all what it is, right? So a lot of you guys, like I said before, man, you guys got to see what's going on with this situation. You guys got to see what's going on with this situation. And so it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. But I just think that this is a bad situation uh, for anybody involved because, I mean, now this lady right here that y'all see in the middle of the screen, her name popping up in this thing yesterday. She, they're gonna call her up, man. They're gonna ask her. They're gonna they're gonna subpoena her bank records, all of this stuff, bro. Bro, it's gonna get ugly, man. I'm just being honest with y'all, bro. Y'all y'all might listen to anybody that come on here and tell y'all that the feds don't got nothing. They act like they don't, man. Don't nobody of these niggas know. Ain't none of these niggas working with the feds or in the fed room. None of them. None of us know. I'm just telling you, I ain't no damn fool. They got a 90, what, 99% conviction rate? So they ain't playing no games, bro. People put saying all this stuff in public. This is the new social media. 20, 15, 20 years ago, you would never hear any of this stuff. You couldn't see a guy going over to the, uh, what you call it? And, and listen, uh, to the brother in the comments, I just seen a comment. You said 50 in his feelings over, over abroad. Well, this isn't just any broad. At the end of the day, this is a mother of his, of his son. You know what I'm saying? So fifth, he probably didn't know that she moved like that. That's why I think he was so surprised yesterday when he went online. You know what I mean? He probably thought, okay, she probably went and did this with that dude. You know, whatever. But he didn't probably think she was moving like that. You know what I mean? So I was sitting here the whole time wondering why 50 been going so hard on, on, on Puff. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was just because of just, you know, just, a you know, this normal situation where he may have thought Puff may have took his chick or whatever or been with the chick, not took her, been with her. You know what I'm saying? But now you finding this out? But then again, if Diddy, if, if, if 50's on child support, this may work. This situation, unfortunately, it may work in his favor because all he got to do now, if he if he's on child support, say unfit mother. <laughs> She, he, he gonna be all child support ASAP. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a fact. You get named and stuff like this. Oh yeah, you know. And so again, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all what it is.
Uh, you said he's flipping for not knowing. Bro, a lot of people don't know if you're not in the inner circle. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know, man. You know? And so, again, that's why I tell, I tell everybody listen to this video. Celebrities listen to this video right now. Just watch who's around you, bro. You know what I mean? Watch who's around you. You know, solid people around you, man. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's not perfect. Um, everybody's going to make mistakes, regardless of what level of mistakes you make. Here's the thing. Um, do you have people around you that if you do make a mistake, do you have people around you that's going to try and bury you? And that's the thing. Did he have people? Did he have people around him that when he made when it, when he made a mistake, either they didn't stop the mistake themselves, they weren't powerful enough to stop the mistake themselves. You understand what I'm saying? And or they roll on. You know what I mean? Me personally. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. If I knew, if I know something about you, and even if I got a beef with you and I know something about you, I'm not finna, I'm not finna talk. I'm not finna tell on you. That's not how I move. I move different. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna, tell, I'm not finna go online. I'm not finna snitch on you. You know I have a problem with you. You know what I'm saying? I, I personally handle that problem with you. But we live, we live in a different era. You know what I'm saying? We live in a different. It's a different code of ethics now. It's a different. Uh, standard now you know what i'm saying like for example even if you had a financial problem with somebody my personal thoughts is is, is this like you don't you know i you don't put i don't put my I, I don't think you had to put all of these things in that as for a personal financial problem with somebody if you if you didn't pay me for something i want my money i don't care about all that other stuff and i'm not saying i don't care about the people i'm saying i don't care about the other things you have going on i want my money if that's my problem with you what puff has around him is people who are trying to destroy him because they have money problems with him you understand what i'm saying and that's the thing that is always a judgment of character and who you who you let in your inner circle you know what i mean so now that you have people that have problems with puff legal problems now you're starting to see the people who took it to a whole nother level i'm talking about money problems people who took it to a whole nother level versus people who just focused on what you owe me. So Puff obviously had a lot of people around him. Now they're trying to just trying to expose him to the highest extent. So you rocking with him all that time, but now he gets in trouble. Now you flip on him and you try to destroy him. You know what I'm saying? When he really, <clears throat> you know, uh, <clears throat> and you know, a lot of people going to look at that differently. You know what I'm saying? Some people are gonna say, oh, well, ticket, what he was doing allegedly was wrong. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> a lot of people, some people are gonna look at it like, oh, well, he gave those people opportunities. He employed these people, gave you jobs, he gave you opportunities you probably wouldn't get. You know what I'm saying? But then some people are gonna say, well, look what came with it. Because Torre came out yesterday and said that he asked Puff to let his 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 one of his family members be a, a, a intern. And Puff gave him the internship. He said three, four months later, the internship was over. He he said he asked his brother, I asked his excuse me, family member why. He said the man was like, he ain't going to tell him why. Then he said months later, or then he said years later, excuse me, he came back and told him that Puff said, if you don't come spend the night with me, allegedly, that the internship is over with. And the dude refused to go spend the night with Puff, and the internship was over with, allegedly, according to Torre. Now, why is Torre saying that now? That's what a lot of people got to question, because it's the wave going on now. It's the wave going on against Puff now. So that's the reason why that's being said now. You know what I'm saying? Because now every y'all know how it is, man. When you hot, look out everybody in the comment section right now. You know what I mean? If this isn't a hot topic, nobody cares. Nobody cares. And this, that's just the honest to God truth. But now when it's the hottest topic in the news, everybody's listening. Everybody cares. Everybody worried about what's going on. You know what I mean? And so, like I said before, man, I smell Rico, bro. I'm just being honest. My, my personal and nothing I say is going to affect this situation. I smell a Rico. There's been all kind of Ricos going on. Y'all see this shit, man. Y'all watching other rappers in cases right now where dudes that was with them flipping. Y'all seeing it right now. But we haven't seen a situation where it's females involved. Where it's alleged females that have been involved. Now, 
that bring a whole different element because this female and to the brother who said uh we do care hey man some people do some people do some people do right but this female that's involved you gotta ask yourself you know what i'm saying she's been accused of crimes do she want to do prison time if that's what they go hit her with if that's what they go hit her with do she want to do that time I, I tell you, a lot of these chicks that look good like that, they, ain't, they don't want to go do no 10, 15 years. They'll snitch first. And so, again, man, I'm just telling y'all what the deal is, man. You know, when it, when, it, when, it, when, it, when they put them years in front of you, now you finna find out who is who and what is what. But I guarantee, before I let y'all go, I'm going to say this one last time. This is what I think going to happen. I think it's going to be a RICO. I think it's going to be one of the biggest Ricos we've ever seen before in history. And I, what I think is, I think that it's not going to be just P. Diddy charged. I think when the feds come back, I think they're going to have multiple charges against multiple people on different scales. And then what I think is going to happen is a lot of people are going to try to get plea bargains. A lot of people are going to try to roll over to get plea bargains to get lesser time. I don't really see too many people wanting to fight the feds. I don't. Not with their conviction rate. I don't. I don't. So I do believe that it's going to be a huge RICO. I believe there's going to be a lot of people involved. I believe that the witnesses who are already giving statements, I believe that Cassie is going to be big time in this, in my opinion, because the lawyer already said she's willing to cooperate. And again, who knows the layouts of the houses? Who knows alleged maybe different places in the house who knows things that are going on who knows who knows all of this better than what they're going to probably say cassie knows so i wouldn't be surprised if you see her get on the stand and testify i wouldn't be surprised i wouldn't be surprised if cassie get other women to testify you know why and they and they will maybe allege that they were victims because then they will come back in the aftermath and try to sue in the aftermath and I think it's more lawsuits coming. What you call it said the other day, he think it's 12 more lawsuits coming. And so to the brother who said, did he about to do this? He ain't about to do nothing. Uh, they got, they, you don't think they watching them right now? They watching them right now. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. They watching them right now. The feds been playing in this stuff, man. They watching them right now, bro. You know what I mean? So, yeah, he ain't, everybody said, oh, he going here, he going there, man. Everybody that's a target, the feds are watching right now. You don't even know. So that's why I tell people, people need to lay low. If you involved in any part, way, or shape of this shit, man, man, get yourself clean and lay low. I'm telling you, them they, they coming for the sweep, bro. They coming for the sweep. If you was in there involved and they can link you to any type of case activity, I'm telling you. Tell me. Yeah, give me about five minutes, dog. Hold on one second. I'm just telling y'all what it is. I'm telling y'all what it is, man. So I wanted to hit y'all with this this morning, man. Fifth was surprised, bro. By his post yesterday, Fifth was surprised, man. He was surprised at this. He never thought this was going to happen, y'all. He never thought this was going to happen, man. In his wildest dreams, he didn't think this was going to happen, bro. He couldn't have thought this was coming, bro. Fifth could not have thought this was coming, man. Because he, what he said yesterday and then what the post that he put, bro, if Fifth would have known this, Fifth would have already went crazy if he would have known this. You know what I'm saying? So now everybody was saying, yo, why Fifth going crazy on, on, on Puff? Well, now it's going to get even worse. You know what I'm saying? Now it's going to get worse. Would I do, would I personally do it? Nah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, once you like that, you charge it, you charge it to the game. You charge it to the game. Charge it to the game, man. It is what it is. Sometimes you make mistakes, man. Charge it to the game. You know what I mean? Simple as that. Charge it to the game, bro. 
Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to the podcast show, man. Link pinned at the top, man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm starting to get like 25 messages at the same time. Boy, y'all don't let a nigga breathe, do you? Man. I got three messages right now that say, you ain't lying, bro. Rico, and I'm talking about from celebrities. Right now, I got three messages from celebrities saying Rico. Shit crazy, man. You know what I mean? So, all of us have been saying stuff. If this end up going to court, we're going to find out. Because when the feds lay out that all that stuff in court, it's going to be stuff we ain't never know about. So, I mean, all I can say is get low. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Um, make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast show. I'm going to do another uh, video on this on the podcast show. The link right there is in the, in the comments. Uh, all y'all got to do is click on that link, patreon.com backslash ticket TV. Um, it's also pinned at the top of the comment section. Yo, we almost got 3,000 subscribers on the podcast show. So if y'all not subscribed, make sure y'all do that. And like this video. We should have like almost 10,000 likes by the end of this video has peaked. We should have over 10,000 likes. You know what I'm saying? So, and subscribe to the channel, man. Um, somebody said, where's Diddy now? The feds know. Everybody thinking he going to skate. They tracking him, bro. He not finna skate. I heard I heard him on the law and crime channel. The FBI agents say they got homeland they got homeland security working with other countries right now. So, yeah, man. Like I said, and y'all seen the report. They went and served. Uh Russell Simmons allegedly got served with a lawsuit in Bali yesterday. In Bali yesterday. He allegedly got served with a lawsuit. They said they walked right up in his in his um in his yoga spot you know what i'm saying and served him yesterday so it's real out here in the field man it's real out here in the field man they said they walked right up in there and served him yesterday bro so y'all not subscribed subscribe to the channel man subscribe to the podcast show the link pin at the top y'all let me know what y'all think man yo i'm coming right now hold on one second dog hold on i'm coming right now give me two minutes so yeah, y'all subscribe. Link pinned at the top, man. And um, this shit finna get ugly than a masterpiece sneaker, man. Real talk. I'm gone. Subscribe to the podcast show. Link pinned at the top.